Good morning, we're here at uh, Simple Pumps demo site in northern Nevada near Lake Tahoe to provide you with a walk around of our 24 volt DC Simple Pump solar package. The solar offering is comprised of a stainless control cabinet, the pump head, basically a simple pump uh, with a pump cylinder at the bottom. Essentially it's a hand pump configuration where the lever arm mechanism has been removed and the simple pump drive is installed. Behind it you see a, a 33 inch by 60 inch 60 cell polysilicone solar module. That's a 245 watt 7.5 amp output at 24 volt DC panel. There are MC4 connectors at the bottom of the control cabinet that run over to the solar panel as well as from the battery box which is behind and we'll show you that here momentarily. I'm going to open up the door. We have a 24 volt 1 fourth horsepower Ray gear motor. The motor runs at 1800 RPM and there's a 30 to 1 reduction in the gear head so the resulting output is 60 RPM. We have a Morningstar uh, charge controller, a Cole Hersey relay, and a deal timer. The, uh, the deal timer uh, is a seven day event timer that allows you to choose eight events per day. And so if, uh, if for example this is being used in a livestock watering application the pump can be operated as many as uh, eight times, eight specific events throughout the day to keep the water in the stock tank uh, in sync with the cows or with the cattle's takeaway rate. The stainless enclosure has a lockable door, keyed, as well as a on-off switch, a toggle, or a rocker style switch, excuse me, that's on the uh, opposite side of the uh, lower corner of the enclosure. And in a second here I'm going to uh, take this cover off over here and uh, we're, we're going to turn the pump on so you can see the output. The pump is operating at 60 RPM and the gallonage of output is about approximately two and a half gallons a minute. We have a model 125 cylinder at the bottom of the string of pipe. The water level in this particular well is about 60 feet down and uh, with this kind of sun efficiency in northern Nevada uh, this would deliver about 130 gallons an hour. So what we have viewable from the backside here is the three inch pole, uh, three inch diameter uh, black iron, we also have galvanized. It's buried in the ground approximately three feet. The extruded aluminum mounting structure is from General Specialties and it's been rated to 100 mile an hour of winds. The backside of the panel here, this is a Sun World panel, again uh, about 33 inches in width, 60 inches in length, 60 cells. Uh, the, the type of a panel that, uh, that we use is a polysilicone and um, has MC4 connectors and uh, we have a, a, a Baltic plywood battery box that's been painted in white epoxy and the, uh, the cables with their connectors run in to make uh, connections to the two batteries. They're uh, group 21 or group 31 uh, batteries approximately 100 amp hours and uh, with that uh, level of uh, 100 amp hours with the amount of energy consumed by the drive right now it would be drawing and while pumping about 5 amps 24 volts DC so if we have 100 amp hours of capacity that means that we have uh, with its inefficiencies factored in maybe 16 or 17 hours of autonomy to where the system can run without any sun at all and deliver a fairly substantial amount of water.